Okay, we're gonna be getting started in just a few minutes. There's my finger as I adjust my volume. <laughs> can you let me know if you can hear me okay? Just put something in the comments that says, yes, you can hear me. Thanks for the heart. Bear with me guys, I'm about to flip the camera so that we can get started. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit of adjusting and hello. It's me, Lisa Rodriguez, Next Level VA. I'm very excited to be here. I am also uber nervous. I absolutely hate doing videos of any kind, uh, but I decided that I just have to get over it, get over myself, get over the fear, and um, get onto Periscope. I mean, I've been noticing a lot of talk about this new social media channel. Um, in case you weren't aware or if you're new to Periscope, this is uh, Periscope is actually owned by Twitter. So there's a really cool integration you can um, not only ask your followers on Periscope to join this, this scope, you can also invite your entire Twitter following to join um, a particular scope that you find um, that's interesting or whatever have you. Um, and it's only been around since I believe the end of May, or excuse me, the end of March, and they already have had over 36 million live scopes. Um, and I'm assuming that because of that high volume, um, one of the, the, the features that they're offering, they do offer replays, um, but just so that you're aware, the replays are only good for 24 hours. So um, if you're really having a good time and you've gotten some great feedback and you're getting lots of hearts and you're sharing really good information, you should consider checking the settings on your phone or your tablet to make sure that you're automatically saving your um, scopes to your uh, to your phone gallery, if you will. So that way you have the ability to upload them to YouTube and to save them that way. And then you can incorporate them into blog content and a whole bunch of other ways that we're gonna talk about today. Um, so you're here on Periscope. Um, let's talk about getting started. Um, hey, Omnitude, Tammy, Matisson, Great, thank you so much for taking time to join me. I'm a nervous wreck and it's really cool to have a friend on the other line because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, first and foremost, your Periscope handle. Make it easy for people to find you. Um, once you set up your account, you're basically stuck with the username that you've assigned to yourself. Um, you do have some, uh, you, you do have the ability to edit somewhat, but not completely. So you might wanna keep that in mind when you're setting up the account. I went in, um, I use Next Level VA for all of my branding everywhere, on Twitter, on Facebook, etc. So what I decided to do was use that here, but then I went in and also added my full name, Lisa Rodriguez, so that way people, when they go to search to join my scopes, it, it's just easier for them to find me. Okay, let's talk about your bio. Bios are searchable people, so use keywords. Use keywords that you think your core audience is going to want to search for. Um, if you're a blogger, make sure you're using blogging. I mean, one of the keywords that I used was tips. I used the word business. I used the word WordPress. And I also used the word entrepreneur on um, the bio, uh, the actual broadcast title for today, which makes it Hey, Eileen. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys are seeing um, some little hearts come up, just so that you understand, every single time you join, you're automatically assigned a specific color um, within the scope environment. And if you tap, tap, tap on your screen, that gives me hearts. So I am really, <laughs> thanks. I know I'm, I know I'm talking kind of fast. I'm a little nervous. Um, so why don't you just show your love, please, and just tap, tap, tap that screen, and please just give me some hearts. Uh, I'm a newbie. I don't know what I'm doing, really. I'm going to give this my best shot. I really want to share some cool information with you guys today. 
feel free to post your comments in the questions. Hi, Virginia, thank you so much for joining, taking time out of your day to join. It's a little disconcerting when you are on a live scope. Um, you're kind of like trying to check out, thanks, thanks, I appreciate that. You're trying to check out like yourself as you're, you know, looking at your phone or your tablet or whatever you're doing. Um, and then you're trying to also greet people as they're joining, which I think is important from an engagement perspective. Somebody took the time to download this app and to get onto Periscope when you told them to. I think you should acknowledge them, you know, a wave, give them a quick shout out, etc. cetera. Um, okay, so we kind of talked about your Periscope handle and your bio. Which are, which are important, please, please, please put a picture up. I know, you know, some people like to put logos, etc. I really think having a photo and a face behind, you know, the brand is really important. Um, and I think what people are finding, um, hey there, Ron, thanks so much for joining. Um, I think what people are finding so attractive about Periscope versus other social media channels is the transparency. You know, uh, for years, I've had followers on Facebook and Twitter, you know, but there's a logo, there's my photo. You don't really get to know me, if you will. And that's what I think Periscope offers the opportunity for you to do, to really get to know the person behind the brand. And I think that's why it's gained um, popularity so quickly in just like a, a short span of time. I think they have over 7 million users, which is awesome. Um, thank you so much, Eileen, for, for sharing this on um, this broadcast to your Twitter followers. You are super awesome. You are my new favorite best friend. Um, and yes, you do have the ability to do that. If you look um, underneath where the uh, profile name is, you should see share this broadcast and you will have the ability to share with the people who are currently following you here on Periscope. And because of the Twitter integration, you can also share to your entire Twitter following, like my new special friend, my new bestie, Eileen just did, to her Twitter following. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, so I'm up to five followers. I am so freaking excited because I thought I was gonna be here talking to myself, like basically. Um, okay, so. The other, another tip for you, in your bio, make the link to your website. Make sure that you put HTTP colon forward forward slash because that will make the link live when people go back to view your broadcast. Now, each broadcast is only available for 24 hours. I did not know this. Okay, so I was referencing some other like trials that I had done, uh, not available, no bueno. Um, but what you can do is you can change the settings on your phone so that you will automatically be able to get your scope broadcast downloaded to your phone. And then you can then, thanks so much for the hearts guys, I really, really appreciate it, I do. Um, you can also upload your scope to YouTube which is awesome because then you can save it and then use that as content. And I mean, the plan that, the vision that I kind of see for how I can leverage Periscope for my business is, uh, you know, I wanna do client shout outs. I wanna do interviews with other cool people like Eileen, hint, hint, hint. I want to do tutorials. I mean, you can absolutely, thanks Eileen for that, for that. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool tip because I had no idea that you could do that. So keep that in mind. You can save your scopes to your phone, upload them into YouTube. You can an you know annotate them, you know add your keywords there, edit them slightly if you want. I'm just gonna just throw them up there because you know this is me. This is who I am, um, and you know you're either gonna like me or you're not. And if you don't, you don't follow me, and you don't have to join me. And if you do, fantastic. So so far we've talked about. Um, awesome. I would love to do an interview. I, and I've seen how people are doing interviews where you can have like a Google Hangout or a FaceTime up on their computer screen and then you have your, um, your phone on your stand kind of to one side so that they can see the other person. It's really cool. I'm still playing around with that, but definitely Eileen. Um, thank you so much. I have a sweet, this is, I, I, I can't believe that you think I have a sweet voice. I feel like my Bronx is showing. 
I'm trying really hard to enunciate. Um, okay, so we talked about your handle, we talked about your bio and the importance of using keywords, um, adding that HTTP so that there's a live link for your um, replay. And the other cool thing, get yourself a stand. I, I'm, and I'm gonna include this in the post that I'm gonna share re this replay with later. Um, I got this little stand. It's actually a combination selfie stick stand on amazon.com. It was 29 bucks. It came with this little remote control that you can actually use to take pictures with. Look, I, I, I'm not a selfie person, to be really honest with you. If I hate video, I hate to take pictures of myself. Um, but I've just decided, again, I've got to get over it. But just from the perspective of you're nervous and you kind of want to be prepared, putting your phone on one of these cool little stands and not having it waving all around and making the people that are watching nauseous is actually a really cool thing. Okay, so some other quick tips, quick tips for you. Um... Thanks so much for the hearts. Um, thanks so much for joining us, Dow Johnson or Dow Olson. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. The names come up pretty quickly, so you've got to pay attention if you want to be able to engage with people. Um, do a little bit of prep for your scopes. Um, you got the bigger one and it's too tall. Get the one you have, it's perfect for streaming. Yes, agreed. The one that I have is actually adjustable, Ron, so I can go really tall if I wanna do the selfies, or um, this I think is just kind of perfect. I mean, you can still see the back of my office, but you know, you get the gist. Okay, so another tip, being prepared um, for your scopes, have a kind of bulleted list. I've got my little list here of things that I wanna cover with you today, and we're gonna keep it really quick and short. I realize people are busy. I specifically did this in the middle of the day just because I really didn't want a large audience because I was kind of hyperventilating as I was getting ready to turn this thing on. Um, but I've been watching a ton of scopes and these are just some of the tips that I have found uh, to be really helpful. So let's talk about little signs. Hello. This, I think you can see it, is my website URL. Oh crap, I think it's backwards. Is it backwards, guys? Somebody put a, a comment up there if it's backwards. I'm not sure. But anyway, have um, your website URL on, um, nope, it's not. Awesome, thanks, Tammy. Have your website URL, no, but waves. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my hand shaking. Um, uh, have your website URL on a little bit of a postcard and share it with people because, you know, again, you can't really share links with Periscope. I'm sure that's something that's going to be coming. The ceiling fan is on because I'm in the middle of a hot flash. Okay, bear with me. Um, so have your website URL on a postcard so that way you can share it with people here. They can go to your website, check out your business, your services, etc. Um you want to also let people know where else they can find you. Um, and my, I have my biggest following on Twitter. I think I've got 40,000 people on Twitter. Hey, JCBV group, thank you so much for joining me. Um, so we're just talking about some really cool tips. Thanks, Ron, I'm glad you're finding them helpful. Um, we're talking about some cool tips about Periscope. Uh, this is actually my first live broadcast, um, but I've been watching tons and tons of scopes. So this is kind of a compilation of some of the cool things that I see that other people are doing on Periscope. Um, have your Twitter handle on um, a postcard so that you can share it. You know, it's about being social guys and engaging with other people. So, you know, while you're probably not gonna scope every single day, even though they, they kind of say you should be doing that, um, you want to connect with people on other social media channels. So here's my Facebook business page, facebook.com forward slash next level VA. So, you know, you can share that. And for those of you who have just joined, put your website URL on there. You know, um, a lot of people talk about having a clear call to action. My call to action today is my goal is I really want to get some, a lot of hearts added to my profile. So if you could just double tap, and double tapping on your screen, on your phone screen, or on your tablet screen, what that does is it gives the person who is doing the live scope hearts. And those hearts get recorded 
onto that person's profile. So it's kind of like a little bit of social cred, if you will. The more hearts you have, obviously people feel like the content that you're sharing with them is relevant and they're going to want to tune in. So just tap, tap, tap to give hearts. The hearts show up in different colors based on your profile. As you log into the scope, you are assigned a specific color and that's why your hearts show up that color. Um, followers, um, ask the tipster, hey, thanks so much for joining. I really appreciate it. Um, a lot of people asked me um, on Facebook as I was sharing this how to get followers. One of the easiest ways that I found is I'm, I mean, I'm kind of lurking, but not really. I'm engaging people when I'm doing, when I'm on other people's scopes, I am asking questions. But the easiest way for me has been I go, I join scopes um, that are focused on content that I think would be relevant, not just to my audience, but also to prospective clients and customers. Um, and then what I do is I go through the people who are viewing the scope at that time, and then I follow them. I mean, you have the ability to check, check out somebody's profile, see if there's somebody that you want to be engaged with. I mean, you know, there's kind of a rule of thumb that you probably use and that you apply to your other social media channels, like on Facebook and on Twitter, you know, will you follow this person back or not? I think the same rules apply here, but I found that because I'm following other people and they're also seeing my, you know, my scopes and they're seeing my engagement, they're starting to follow me back. I've only been on Periscope for about two weeks and I think I have 50 followers, you know, that's okay. You know, they do suggest that you scope a lot. Thanks so much for the hearts, guys. Um, it's The thing is, is that your replay is going to disappear after 24 hours. So, you know, if somebody's really interested in your content, the idea is it's almost like blogging. You want to share relevant content as often as possible that's going to engage your audience. And don't feel like you have to be on here for hours and hours. I'm keeping today's scope to about 20 minutes and we're about 13 minutes in. So please feel free to post a comment, ask a question. That's what we're here to do, to share and to learn from one another. Um, but you need to be posting or scoping rather often um, if you want to really maintain that level of engagement. When you scope, when your broadcast goes live, all of your followers automatically receive a notification that you're live. Excuse me, coffee, I'm running out of steam here. I put on one of my Facebook posts that I could probably talk the years off a brass monkey. That's me. I'll talk to a post if I stand next to it long enough. Okay, so I think we covered a lot of what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, so we talked about your, 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 your handle. We talked about the importance of using keywords in your bio because your bio is searchable. We talked about using hashtags and relevant keywords in the name of your broadcast because that's going to attract people. When they log into Periscope, if they're not following you, they're going to see all of the live broadcasts. And if your title is kind of, you know, snappy, catchy, they're going to like join you. And that's what you want. You want to use this as a way of engaging with people. You want to share your expertise. And look, you just want to connect with some cool people. It's the middle of the day. I'm a solo entrepreneur. I work from home. And every so often, it's nice to just hop on and share like a cool tip or, you know, uh, the name of an art, uh, the, uh, the name of an article or somebody that you're following. My plan for content is to do some really great book reviews. I want to do some interviews. So if anybody's interested in that, please post in the comments here today. Um, I was thinking also about doing WordPress tutorials, you know, flipping the screen and actually taking your questions live on how to set up blog posts, how to set up and install a theme on your WordPress site, things like that, that are like ad hoc in the moment. Um, and then I would also suggest setting up a schedule for your content, if you will. Um, one of the things that I find is really effective for me in social media is when I post specific content on certain days, people actually get accustomed to seeing it. You know, Twitter Tuesdays are days that I will share specific content about Twitter on my blog, um, you know, and in my Twitter feed, just for my, my Twitter followers. So you might want to think about adding your scopes 
to your actual content editorial calendar. I think that that's a really important part of it. Periscope is, is I think it's really going to be a game changer from a social media perspective. Uh, I'm going to spend the next week or so really um, taking a close look at how brands are using it. Um, and I know that there are now sponsored scopes where people are getting sponsors and you're getting paid to scope. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of really cool things that are happening um, in this environment. And I'm going to be back to share what I find with each and every one of you. So we're coming up to about 220. So I'm going to get ready to end this. I want to thank you very, very much for joining me today. I know everybody's busy. I'm going to go back to the postcards, guys. Here's my website, www.nextlevel-va.com. We do virtual support, WordPress, and social media marketing. Okay, please stop by. I'd love to hear from you. I blog a lot. It would be great. Thanks so much. Uh, ask the tipster. Thank you so much for, for the, the comment there. Um, Facebook, facebook.com forward slash nextlevelva. Please feel free to, you know, stop by my Facebook page. I share my blog content there, as well as um, content that's just specifically for my Facebook following. Thanks so much for the hearts, guys. And then, obviously, Twitter. I have a huge following on Twitter. I would love to have you join me there as well. My Twitter handle, at NextLevelVA. Um, so that's about it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed today's scope. I really, uh, I really, <laughs> thank you so much for Tam, Tammy for saying that. I really appreciate you taking the time uh, to join me today. Please share this broadcast um, so that people can come back and check out the replay. Um, I will be uploading it to my YouTube channel and I am going to be sharing it in a future blog, blog post with a recap of all of the tips that I shared with you here today, just for those who weren't able to join me live. Thank you very, very much. I want to wish you all an awesome, awesome day and I'll see you next time here on Periscope. Bye-bye.